for me, this is a really important thing to understand because if you know who you're talking to, you know how to react. And I think um, one of the things that's helped me with sales that I just kind of did uh, naturally um, because of my sports background, um, I was used to being in different environments with different people and I kind of had to adjust to how those people thought, how they talked, what their mannerisms were, the way that they spoke, um, their tonalities, you know, because that's what that's what allowed me to kind of fit in. And so I carried that over and I ended up learning on later that people actually have done studies on this, right? And people understand if you understand who you're talking to and you mirror that person, then chances are that they're going to be responding better to you. Okay. So there's, there's four main different types of personalities that you're going to see. Uh, the first is, is kind of more like me, an analytical person. They're motivated by the facts. They like to see things in writing. You know, they're not very emotionally reactive to, to things that you say they're non-responsive. They're not very assertive. Uh, they very, they very much care about, um, sticking to timelines. So if you say you're going to show up for an appointment at three o'clock, you're there on time, or if not early, and they're not very quick to make decisions. Okay. An analytical person for me is easy to talk to, especially because I'm that way too. And this type of person is going to want to understand the numbers. What's the logic behind this? Okay. And I'd say one of the most effective ways to get a deal to, to close a deal is to get them to tie into their emotions. You know, they, they make their emote, their decision based on emotions, but they support it. They back it based on uh, facts, based on logic. Now, an analytical person is going to be much more based on the logical facts type of information. So for me, this type of person, I'm going to break down the numbers. I'm going to explain in detail how I got to my numbers because they're going to care more about it. And I'm going to talk about how I can help this, them through this process. I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons about going with us versus listing it and, and allow them to make that decision, right? I'm not going to be able to necessarily influence them that much, but more so just give them the facts and allow them to make that decision. So that's the analytical person. The driver is somebody who you've probably spoken to before and they're very assertive. Again, they're not very reactionary to uh, what you're telling them. They like to control the situation. They're always in a hurry. They're wanting to get to the point, right? They're not very patient. They're not good listeners. You might've just told them what your process looks like, what questions you're gonna ask them, and if they have time for that, and they're just gonna blow right through that and not even listen to you, right? Um, they're gonna be stubborn. They're gonna be tough to deal with, but they're decisive. If it's something that they feel is right for them, they're going to be able to make that decision quickly. So I think that's important to understand what that driver's like. And I know whenever I'm talking to a driver, I am like a chameleon. I will adapt and change and I will talk and think like a driver too. I need to speak a little bit faster. I need to be more to the point. I need to get to the bottom line. You know, what is it that they want? Right. And then, and maybe then I'll bring them back into my process that, Hey, this is what we're going to do next. I'm going to go run my numbers. I'm going to get back to you, see if we can make that work. Does that sound fair? So a driver, if you're just trying to like tell them about how nice your day is and ask them how theirs was, they don't give a damn. You know, you're wasting their time and you're going to piss them off. So you need to understand who you're talking to. Now, the social person is a person who uh, is very responsive. You know, they're they're very chatty. They, they all are about the relationship. They're enthusiastic. Um, they see, you know, the squirrel and they, they get distracted. Um, they're, they're very spontaneous and they are fast to make decisions. Um, I love talking to this person cause they're fun. Um, we have great conversations. We build a lot of great rapport. And if you can get into the storytelling and really share about, um, you know, what the experience is going to be like you're going to kind of light them up and get them excited and uh, you can put a deal together pretty quick. Okay. Last is the social conscious. They are a little bit more difficult. They want to talk. They, they want to go through the details. They'll respond, you know, to what you're sharing with them, but they're not very assertive. They're very agreeable. Um, they're very kind. This person, 
they're very reserved. They're very conservative. They're very kind. You know, they're going to make a decision, but you got to be patient with them. I've spoken to this nice old lady or nice old man many times and being, you know, maybe slower to talk through things, letting them know who you are, what you're about, what you stand for, how you're making a difference in the community by buying this house and improving it, right? Those are the things that make the difference. And again, if you can understand these things, for some people, this might be over your head or you don't really care about this stuff, but I'm telling you, this stuff matters. This is sometimes the small little difference that you can you can apply and, and use to make a big difference. Because if you know who you're talking to and, and what they care about, then you can adjust and, and be prepared for that, okay?